So hi again everybody, um, I just wanted to show you another little tutorial whilst we're experiencing this uh, prohibitation from going outdoors much and just wanted to bring you a couple of little photography projects, one in particular at the minute um, about what you could do just around your house and your garden, especially if you've got a lot of flowers in your garden already, kind of window boxes. So this was inspired a little bit by one of the students on iPhotography recently, who's been trying out um, photographing flowers from a flat lay position, but also using them in the context of water. Um, and it was a really nice, simple little home project to try, and I just wanted to kind of break down the mechanics of it because it's really easy to do, and it's something really simple to try out and really fun. So what I'll do, I will take my camera, I'm going to grab a bowl, I'm going to head out into the garden, I'm going to find some flowers and a few little petals that I can pick out for you. So come with me. So, okay, we've got our flowers then in our bowls. So some of them have closed up a little bit from the cold weather outside. So all it's gonna take is just for me to open them up a little bit further, uh, spread them out. And it's just a case now of removing any stems. So for example, I've got a few little daisies here that have still got the stems on. So I'm gonna try and cut them off as best as I can as close to the base of the tip, uh, to the top of the tip, sorry, as possible, because uh, we really want to get rid of this entire stem here. You don't ultimately want your daisies or any flowers or any petals to be leaning to one side. We want them to kind of float nice and evenly on the top. So what we'll do, we'll kind of cut those down as best we can, and then we're going to pour some water either into this bowl, or actually I think, because I've got another bowl here, I've actually got a pan from downstairs, um, just put some water in it, and I'm going to use this as my base to actually start dropping the flowers in. And we're just going to kind of drop them in bit by bit onto the surface here and just let them kind of settle a little bit. You'll need to put it down on a flat surface as opposed to holding it and shooting at the same time. And just let the water settle, let the flowers settle. And then it's just a case of shooting overhead for some really nice flat lays. And I think it'll give us um, quite a unique look. I mean, depending upon what, obviously what type of uh, surface, what kind of bowl or pan you're using, if you want to use something metallic or just plain white, I think that could be quite nice. But this is a bit kind of black with like silver speckles on, so I thought it could be kind of quite interesting. And we have got a light above us that's turned on, so it may give us some reflection. So I may turn that off anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll have a go and see what it works out to be like. It's a really tricky little process because obviously the smaller the flower head, the more intricate you actually have to be with your fingers here. And I'm not the most delicate of people when it comes to flowers, so it will take a little bit of time, a little bit of practice. But it's the fun in making any kind of artwork, really. It's, it's that reward knowing that you've, you've created everything kind of from A to Z features in the shot you've, you've built it up as opposed to just taking something that's pre-existing which is not a bad thing but it's just kind of a little intrinsic feeling it makes it a bit more rewarding in a way this one would be quite nice I think so I think we're now at the point where I've kind of got an arrangement I'm fairly happy with here um, so you can see that they're just going to kind of settle the daisies and any kind of flowers that you put in there wherever they want. So you, you'll have to kind of move your composition based upon the flow um, and the actual kind of end up position as to where they all are. Right, so I think we're at the point where I'm kind of quite happy The the water's still now, the flowers have settled, they've actually bunched together quite nicely, so we're very fortunate there. So I've set my camera up and we're now basically on a tripod, looking straight back down, so we're pretty much at a 90 degree angle. Um, I think I will um, turn the light off above me here if you can see any reflection. And I'm thinking I do want to add a little bit more light because where the light's coming in from this direction, it's adding a bit of shadow around here, which I think may affect the photograph. So I'm actually going to use my phone and use the, uh, the, the light on there, the flashlight on there, and just move that around a little bit and see what kind of effects I can create. But to begin with, I think the most important thing is that we zoom in a lot closer and we cut out 
all the unnecess unnecessary areas that we don't want in the photograph. Um, I think it's worth actually tilting the camera a little bit more. As you can see, a lot of our composition is just kind of all kind of etched around the top here, and there's a lot of space around the bottom. So I, I think we're just going to tilt it a little bit if I just loosen the camera slightly. So I'm just going to reposition the camera a little bit there. And as I said, I'm just going to turn the lights off. Turn that light off overhead. And now also use a little flashlight here. And you can see the reflection of it, but I just wanted to just show you how using just one simple light is actually going to be able to change the, the kind of the look and the style of the shot. You can see how the drop shadow changes as I move my camera, sorry, I move my, uh, my phone with the light on around a little bit. So I'm just kind of looking for the best position where I kind of quite like the drop shadow if I want to keep that in, or if I don't, I want to have it overhead, obviously without blocking the shot. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit, take a series of different photographs, maybe kind of change the angle of the pan a little bit so I get a slightly different kind of composition in the overall shot. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes, but that's how simple it is, just trying out these little floating flowers on water. It, it, it can be a number of different things, obviously anything that floats um, is going to be ideal, but it just gives you that little separation and that little drop shadow it just makes it a little bit more unique and a bit charming but give it a go so you don't need much to try it out you can do it at home just grab a few bits and pieces from the garden and from the kitchen a little bit of water and then Bob's your uncle and away you go mm -hmm.